it's not really a place or anything. It's just, I just see mountains and ice. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's okay. We're going to find out. Mountains and ice. Are you floating above it? Or can you walk on it and feel the, the sound or hear the sound underneath your feet? Is the air cold? Yeah, it's just cold. I can just see it. I don't... Mm -hmm. I'm going to tap your forehead to help you get closer to those mountains. So you can move closer to that picture. It's almost like a click, click when you click at the folder, mountains and ice, and you're there. What does it feel like? How does the body feel in that space? I don't know that I have a body. Mm -hmm. It's just sort of cold, ice. Maybe you are a part of Earth and Earth. Mm -hmm. Let's go deeper into the cold. So whenever we have a dominant sensation in that kind of experience, we want to amplify it. This is a gateway to more information. Amplify the cold. Whatever is a dominant sensation, make it stronger. So imagine you can turn up the volume. You can take one of your hands, whichever is your dominant hand, and modulate it. Imagine physically do that. Modulate the temperature so it's colder. Make it colder. Like if you would modulate something on a screen, make that sensation stronger. Imagine it's like a screen and use, are you right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed. Yeah, use right hand. Imagine that image is something you can see on a screen. Turn up the volume, turn up the contrast, turn up the colors, make it high definition so you can connect better to the information. It's interesting, isn't it? I just, I know it's cold. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really affect me though. Yeah. I'm just it, there's not really anything here so weird okay so you you can feel the cold it doesn't affect you so you can perceive it without being affected negatively mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you know there is ice and there are some rocks mountains yeah okay let's see if we can shift the perspective a bit so that energy you mentioned, you're vast, you are space, you are non-physical. Mm. See, imagine if you could, uh, you can use your hand, by the way, and draw a circle around that energy that is you. So imagine you are creating a sphere, use your right hand, create a sphere around it, and that represents your energy. And then you can, with both of your hands, Make that sphere smaller to create a channel for that energy to make it more dense. Mm. So play with that energy. When you make that energy more dense, then see if you can shift your perspective, perception. I'm not even, I don't even know where this is. Mm -hmm. or... Fly above it. Let's get the aerial view. Is this even Earth or is it somewhere else? I don't know. It could be. Mm -hmm. If it is, it's like way up on North Pole. Something, mm -hmm. yeah. Does it feel peaceful, serene, or otherworldly? How does it feel? What feelings do it you It feels have? peaceful. It just feels quiet. Very quiet. There's just nothing here. If you could, like a bird, just fly down and connect to the surface. Let's try that. Allow the natural energy of gravity take you to the surface of that place. Mm. Just allow it to happen. It's like pressing a button in an elevator. You press, you go there, bam, you are in that perspective. Mm. It's very white. Mm -hmm. Take some of that white energy and eat it, consume it. Mm. Let's get in touch with that white energy. It's just so peaceful and calm and there's just nothing like. Mm -hmm. So when you're not physical and it's just peaceful and nothing, 
it's a bit boring, right? Nothing is happening. Yeah. It's like just eternity of light, white light. Why am I seeing this? Mm -hmm. it's so you, weird. Can, you can ask that later. Just experience that. Experience that, not just the colors, but the energy of it. Swallow it, allow that peace to flow through you. Take it to your nervous system, take it to your spinal cord, up and down your body. Play with it. You're there for a reason. You might not know this reason right now, but you are there to experience something valuable. It just seems like there's a lot, there's no life, but there's information here. Mm -hmm. Very good. It's just, it's just clear. There's nothing. Abstracting the, the connection, okay. right? The transmission. That's it. Very good. So this is place of information where there's no dust, no confusion, dust in terms of like a noise. It's very crystalline. It's just like shiny and calm. I would like for you to merge with that energy. Like mm. Really merge, go inside of it and let the information flow through you and simply download blocks of those thoughts or information and feel free to express them from what you're saying you can get crystal crystal clarity there i think i can just get any information i want here okay. well amazing how about we just get some information that pertains to your life what would you like to know huh. i just want to know how to connect to it mm -hmm. well you are already connecting to it i'm still blocking it though i don't know why okay scan your body now and scan your energy field Let's figure out where there is a resistance. You said you're blocking it. Find, like your body is a dashboard. Find in your body somewhere a mechanism or switch the feeling that creates resistance towards connection with that space of information. Where do you feel the resistance inside you? Somewhere here. Somewhere here. Okay. And what number from zero to 10 would you connect to that resistance? How strong is it? I think it's six. I don't mm -hmm. Yeah, first impression, no second guessing. Is there any color or colors connected to the feeling of resistance? Gold. Very good. I want you to take both of your hands and start scooping that energy out of your belly. Take both of your hands and just scoop it out, pull it out. Very good. Gold. When you do that, does it have a texture or any kind of smell or any uh, any kind of attribute that you can describe? Gold. Mm. Is it slimy? Yeah. Is it slimy? Uh -huh. It's like a gel. Gel. Okay. Very good. <laughs> get it all out. I want you to get it all out. Feel the relief, huh? <laughs> okay. Is there anything left in your belly there? Or is it gone? I don't know. I think it's still there a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you gotta keep keep digging. Keep digging. <sighs> you wanna dig all of this out. Take your time. You know you wanna speed it up, but let's just get it out. Thoroughly. And I know feelings are coming up, feel them, feel the emotions. This is part of it because as we reveal, we feel, and as we feel, we can heal. This is exactly the process. Keep doing amazing. Keep doing that. There is more. I can tell there is more. Yeah. We opened a little bit of a Pandora box. Yeah. Keep digging, my dear. I'm with you. I'm with you. You can take a break if necessary. You're safe and you can do this, this today and you won't have to do this ever again okay yeah yeah it's i'll show you how to completely change that experience okay. 
It's intense, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Anything that is showing up for you? What is it related to that feeling? The emotions? Uh, like guilt, shame, I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, you're doing amazing. Whenever you're ready, keep scooping it out until you, we get it all out. Yeah? Okay. Or tell me if it's gone. It's still, I can tell it's still there. Okay. You can do this. And when you're doing that, remember your anchors. You have a white energy connected to the girl that's dancing, Bala, so free. And then you have blue energy connected to feeling very light. Years and years. Okay, very good. You can take a break if needed. And I'll tell you how to deal with this. That golden energy. Imagine you can project it on a screen in front of you. How big is this feeling? Is it bigger than the wall in front of you? Is this bigger than this apartment? Bigger than this building? If you could give it three dimensional characteristics in terms of size, how big would that, that feeling would be? Like a screen, it's like a big one. Big one, yeah? Okay. And that gold, when you look at that gold, slimy kind of jelly feeling, does it remind you of anything specific? It's like, a, it's just attached like a, now that I'm getting under it, it's mm -hmm. like, it's like, it's like stuck in there, you know? Yeah, we'll, we'll find actually the, the, the mechanism um, and we will get it all out, we'll pull it all out. I'm so. seeing like a cord just like going off, like mm -hmm. into space. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Follow that chord all the way to space. I, I want you to, to just play with it for a bit, okay? Because we're in it, so we might as well explore. When you follow that chord, so it starts somewhere inside of you, right? Yeah. Is it connected to that screen or, or is it just going into space? Describe to me. It's just going off into space. Mm -hmm. Is it helping you purge all of that or does it feel like a restriction? I think it's helping. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel so attached to anything anymore. Okay, very good. So really all you need to do is surrender and let it happen and just stay in peace. Remember you are in that place of deep peace. Just be there and let it let everything take care of itself. Isn't it something you didn't expect that, did you? No. Mm -hmm. All the stuff we hold inside until the right time comes in, the right circumstances line up. And you can extrapolate it and completely let go of what's not yours. And simply let me know when the whole charge of this feeling has been drained. So take your time. We're, do, we're here to do thorough cleaning. Mm. Watching it burn. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a surgery, isn't it? Yeah. So when you are rapidly changing the properties of this image projected on the screen and that energy is being sucked up through the cord. How is that feeling in the belly now? <sighs> Feels much more open. Mm -hmm. Feels empty. Empty. 
So did it drain to zero? Did the number drop to zero or is there anything left there? Go inside because now you have this crevice, you have this opening, right? There's a little like, there's a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's like a one. Okay. It's like it's stuck in the corner. Okay, go inside. Go inside like an engineer, like someone who can go and look into the details, like your perception is like a magnifying glass and you can just look, go inside your body right here with your consciousness, with your awareness just see where where is it attached to and if you can see it tell me what you see or if you can feel the mechanism just turn it off try different things to see how we can dismantle that energy completely it's like slimy like i don't know it was, in the, it was filling this space mm -hmm. there's just a little bit of it left in the corner okay i just need to like you want to scoop it out and use your hands i just want to like scrub it scrub it yeah there you go take a brush or something you know and just scrub it use the water from that lake when you're on the canoe that water mm. was amazing right mm. let's go back to your happy place and let's drink some of that water and let it wash away the rest of it so you don't have to effort so much we're not here to effort we're here to use those elements to work for you Maybe you want to float on the surface of this water, drink that water, and let all the rest be just washed away. And just tell me if it's happening for you. So oh, that feels really good. Uh -huh. All right, bye. Enjoy the feeling. How is this feeling? Feels fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> 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 You're free, aren't you? Don't you? Aren't you feeling free right now? Yeah. Like, oh my God, I was carrying all this weight for so long. That's why you have the emotions because when we recognize when we're free, it doesn't compare to any other feeling. The feeling of freedom is the highest of the highs. Now that you have all this uh, space open right let's feel it with something that we would like to experience more of what kind of feeling would you like to put here uh, self-expression mm -hmm. love self-expression love beautiful like self-assurance right yeah mm -hmm. confidence mm. very good we can use that example of a student when you are um, studying and things came so easily or you can connect to another memory when you are super confident you said you're her stylist right mm. maybe you did an amazing job and just you're so proud connect to a memory in which you feel so self-assured there's just so much love so much appreciation what memory comes to you when it comes to those like very high emotions, confidence, love, power, mm. freedom. Uh, I love that when I really help someone connect to the way they wanna look, the way they wanna present themselves. Mm -hmm. They just really get there, nail it. Yeah. And such empowerment there. Amazing. I want you to feel that empowerment. Bring forth that memory, but this time we're going to slow down the movie so you feel all those feelings in slow motion and you can extrapolate them. You can milk that energy of confidence, of power, of this visual elegance and eloquence. When you connect to this kind of memory, it has a physical address. Where do you feel it the strongest? What is the domain for that feeling within you? Right here, very good. Is there a color colors connected to this feeling for you? Um, pink, I mm -hmm. think, I don't know. Okay, okay. let's go with pink. <laughs> what I want you to do right now, just like we did with other energies, just watch that energy with every breath you take and every beat of your heart as it starts to move and travel throughout your body from your heart center. And then when it reaches this place, it just becomes exponentially stronger. 
the empowerment is off the roof that feeling of exhilaration it's like your consciousness is kicking into higher gear and all the you know hormones and chemical compounds in the body are being released it's dopamine it's some testosterone some oxytocin it's a powerful cocktail right mm. you're glowing you're shining look at yourself in the mirror in that powerful moment and feed off of that energy and make it even stronger as long as it feels good circulate it over and over again to seal completely the space that was filled with those other energies and emotions. I can tell you enjoying this experience immensely. Mm. <laughs> like this, this is what life should feel like. Imagine how after this session you will come home and you will look at your husband, your life and everything around you with such a different eye. You'll be able to express more what you need, express more who you are freely without like this hindrance of the past. You will just flow like a river because there will be no resistance towards expression. So we can test it. We can do a little... Um, practical test you know um, let's say uh, you're coming home and, and you need a hug or you need some intimacy or you need something how would you from that place of self-empowerment ask for assistance or express yourself i know that i deserve it mm -hmm. i'm worth it yeah Anything else we need to do with this energy in the belly or do you feel complete and solid about it? I feel good. Very good. And come back to that peace, that confidence, that sense of self-worth, that sense of self-empowerment and love. And let it take you to either this place of knowing the information that you connected with, or maybe we're just gonna move forward to another experience. You said that you have some questions regarding your path. We can use this moment to talk a bit about your purpose. You can go back to this place of information inside of you and that certainty and and you came with some questions, you know, what would that modality be good for you? What is the purpose that you came forth in this life? Why is it that you're here at this time on this planet? To heal. What does it mean specifically for you? Mm. Heal myself, mm -hmm. heal everyone else too. Mm -hmm. Who wants to get healed as well. Yeah. And what are the means, the ways and that are naturally accessible to you? So it doesn't feel like work or effort. It's an experience and you love every part of it and it doesn't wear you out. I think I'm just supposed to wait. Mm -hmm. Just be. Just be. Uh-huh doing it remember you came here and one of the first thing you said that you want to get a reassurance that what you're doing is real is valid is something tangible something that makes sense that is not just some sort of an internal vision or illusion when you're in this place of clarity internally right now Ask yourself these questions. Is it all valid? I am helping people. Mm -hmm. I'm already doing it. Exactly. Feel that self-appreciation right now. And feel the love from other people. Because right now you have very expanded awareness. You can connect to all the people you have helped. So obviously these are your clients. These are probably some family members. These are your friends right these are maybe random people that you meet and you just know exactly what to tell them in that moment 
feel that pride and that love and give yourself this energy of absolute appreciation on all levels of your being. You deserve it. You don't have to even work for it. It is your birthright. Okay. He's my love. I am the crystal. You are the crystal. I don't know what that means, but that's what's coming through right now. Just channel it. Feel that crystal energy. Mm -hmm. You are that crystal. Oh my God. Talk to me from that place of crystal clarity. I love. Feel it. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't have to do anything. I don't have to do so much. I just, I'm helping by just being, by existing. Mm -hmm. I'm full of that knowledge already. I don't have to seek it. Mm. Okay. You're just aligned with it today. Allow this realization to be so crystal clear that you never question it again and question yourself and your self-worth and why you're here. I am so incredibly proud of you and I'm so honored that we can do this together. Like I'm crying and laughing and just, so much joy so much love so much wow um exhilaration and connection tell me more that's it i just i don't have to do so much i don't have to work so hard i'm already there uh -huh. i just have to go in and get it i don't know go inside or go where yeah or go to that place of ice and rocks because that's the crystal. And the crystal was the feeling, wasn't it? Just clear. Clear. Not emotion, no judgment, just it's all there. It's presence? Yeah. I need to separate from that part of me that it has, to assign, it has to assign a meaning to an emotion to everything you know it's just just it's already there for me i don't have to go find it exactly so once you recognize it and you recognize it today you will be able to recognize it like that <sighs> doesn't, doesn't this feel like a whole chunk of what you're doing here so far is no longer relevant. <sighs> that is amazing. Okay. So that crystal clarity, being one with the crystal, that's how you access that knowledge, if I understand correctly. Yeah. So you found the frequency for it because it's really all about tuning into a frequency. You found your frequency with that crystal. You and the crystal are one. I want you to really crystallize this in your mind, in your body, in all of the systems, emotional, energetic, so that you have a very clear path to always staying connected to the crystal. Yes. How do you do that? I just have to go there. Mm -hmm. Go to that space? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you already know where it is. Yeah, I can get there. Mm -hmm. So white. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the whitest thing ever. For example, you have a question regarding your marriage or work or your son. Can you go there and get answers? I think so. Mm -hmm. There's no, 
I think this is important. I, there's no um, emotion or judgment behind it. It's just information. Clean, clear. Mm -hmm. Clean and clear. You said no inform, no emotion, no judgment. Okay. So the human emotions and judgment can create some sort of noise. Noise. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. And now without that noise, when you are one with it, how do you experience that energy when it's anchoring within you and it's um, beginning to take more shape and space and takes over other systems in your body and in your mind. Like imagine it's, it's growing like a plant, you know? Mm. It's taking over other systems so that you can feel that frequency and recognize it. How do you experience it? It just feels like light flowing in, like... Un uh, uninterrupted. Mm. Mm -hmm it's more powerful than anything else yeah just it's the energy that creates worlds isn't it yeah there's nothing that i have in my body that will block it incredible it's i can't what about emotions or past is there anything that can hinder that connection or did we clear did you clear it remove it I think we cleared that part. Mm -hmm. I think there's still some fear. Mm -hmm. Would you like to work on clearing it today? Yeah. Okay. Notice where is this fear residing. Find a physical address for that fear. Okay. What color or colors are connected to this feeling? First impression. It's like a light blue color. Mm -hmm. What number would you assign to it from zero to 10? Seven. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead and start pulling out this blue, light blue from your throat, just like we did with the golden energy in your belly. Keep both of your hands. And really, you want to clear all of them. So let's just do it right now. So you don't have to do it again. And enjoy the relief. It's relief. It's choking me. Yeah. <laughs> Gently, thoroughly take it out of the mouth. So. Amazing. Yeah, when you touch it, I love what you're doing already. You are examining it. It's light blue. What else can you tell me about this energy? It just feels cold, constricting. Mm -hmm. Be gentle, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna get all of it out. I know it's not the easiest because you feel the emotions and you feel the the discomfort, right? Because it was stuck there and it felt like being choked. So since you're experiencing another lifetime, we can go explore that energy too. Did you get choked in another life? You can go deeper into discomfort for a moment just to use it as a doorway to information. What happened that this energy got stuck in your throat? I think maybe I did. Mm -hmm. Often it's the case with people who feel this stuck energy somewhere. They're like, oh my God, I was choked to death or something happened, you know, and then we carry this into another lifetime. So if it is relevant for you to see or you can just observe and know that you're safe, you can watch the experience from that crystal clarity of your being from the safe place. And you can just explore what is this feeling connected to? My husband choked me mm -hmm. in front of my child. Well, there you go. Feel the emotions, feel the emotions, know you're safe. It wasn't, not, not my husband now. He's so angry, I don't. Yeah, just watch. Yeah. And you can watch it like a movie. So you're having an argument with a husband. 
how do you see this room, that space where you are right now? Describe to me. It's like a small, a small house, mm -hmm. a small bed. Just I have one child. You can see him. Yeah. So it's a boy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's slow down the movie so we can get more information. When you connect to the energy of this husband, look him in the eyes. Eyes are like doorways to the soul. Does he remind you of anyone who you know from this lifetime? First impression. I think I, I think it's my dad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. And when you connect to the energy of your child, do you recognize that energy from this lifetime that you are in right now? I think I do. Mm -hmm. I think it's a friend of mine. Yeah. We have a farm. Mm hmm a small cabin. I don't, I don't know why he's so angry. Just see the anger and... So is he yelling? Obviously he's physically abusive. Yeah. Is he also verbally um, expressing that anger? Yeah. So did he hurt you before physically in this marriage? In this union that you had with him in mm -hmm. that life? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it just got progressively, progressively worse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you said you have a farm, small house. And what a timeline is showing up for you? Look at the, um, you know, maybe calendar around or newspaper. Look at the furniture. Look at the style. Um, it's like wooden. Mm -hmm. um, I'm seeing 16, maybe it's 1600s, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It looks, I'm getting year up too, I don't know where. Yeah. Okay, very good. So simple furniture, simple cottage. You said you have a farm, mm -hmm. some animals, right? You can go around the house if you want. Just kind of take a look at your property, what's going on there. And... It, it's not very big. I can only see like, a small bed, a fireplace. I don't can't see it very clearly. Mm -hmm. It's okay, but you're getting information. That that's fine. That's fine. And um, I want you to go to the bathroom inside of your house and just look at yourself in the mirror. Tell me how you look like. How old are you in this moment? I'm young. Um, in my twenties early 20s does any name show up for you or come up for you for him or for you uh i'm Ger gerald gerald something like that mm -hmm. and what happens um after that incident when when he's choking you let's move forward let's fast forward to another scene that is relevant for you to see and simply land there and tell me what happens. I'm taking my, my boy with me. Okay. We're leaving. I see running. You're running away from this place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where do you go? My mother. Mm -hmm. I can tell you're feeling a lot. Some of it is surprising, isn't it? Yeah. And I wonder how the progression of this woman's life um, was. Let's see if we can follow her life trajectory and see what happens. I don't know. I can't get anything else. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's not relevant because we already extracted the information that was needed and that fear from choking was there. Is that fear gone? Is it projected on a wall in front of you? How mm -hmm. does the throat feel? Feels fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the last thing we're going to do, we're just going to modulate that energy on the screen that represents that fear. It was light blue for you, right? 
And I want you to just rapidly start changing the properties of this light blue energy. And just have fun with it. Make it grotesque, funny, ridiculous. Add some sounds if you want. Rapidly change the shape, the size, the colors, saturate, desaturate. And what helps also is to move your eyes from side to side at the same time. This breaks completely the bond in the physical context to that feeling. So you can completely release it out of your being. Once that energy is completely neutral, inactive, right? We can put something in your throat that you desire. What would you like to feel? Confidence. Confidence, very good. We already have the anchor for that. Remember your anchor was pink energy on your chest, right? Mm. Tap your chest, activate the pink, feel that confidence into your throat. Blow it and you can physically even blow or massage that pink energy into your chest. So you can both use both of your hands and just like a lotion, you just smear, massage that energy and let it take shape of your throat. So there is no empty space. Allow yourself again to feel total appreciation for yourself and love and absolute acceptance of who you are on all levels of existence, no exception, no doubt. How do you feel right now with all of the shifts that you made and the activations that you experienced? Just calm. Let's bask in this calm. Good. I just, I think I want to, I need to trust myself more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's examine and see if we can unwrap it for you, unpack it for you. Let's examine when you, in situations or patterns in your life in which you exhibited lack of trust towards yourself. Tell me more about those situations or circumstances when you go against your trust. So the trust is there, you know it, but you just don't listen to it. Mm. Or maybe you don't know it and you place that trust in other people. Tell me a little bit more about the, the ins and outs of, of this issue in your life. I think those are both true. Mm-hmm. So you I misjudge people. Misjudge. Uh -huh. I think that everyone is honest and well intentioned. And I always see that good side. But it gets sometimes it works against you, right? Like mm. there is inconsistency. Definitely. That's uh -huh. it. Okay, well, the law of the universe mm, is consistent. So when we have contradicting thoughts, we get contradicting results and we attract people that contradict that feeling that we should be trusting others and be open. So what we can do, we can connect you with that crystal inside in terms of recognizing if you can trust that person or not first of all with love um, attraction whoever is in your vicinity there is some vibrational compatibility so if you are realizing that somebody um, has disrespected your trust it means that there is something within you that is active otherwise you wouldn't have attracted that person into your life so it all can be used in a positive way but also, if you just want a mechanism that can protect, not protect you, that and signal you, you shouldn't talk to that person, then maybe there will be a light that, will, that crystal will emanate, like pulsating light or signal, something inside, like warning, warning, move away, you know, don't invest your energy, disengage immediately. So let's see what kind of mechanism you can install within you today 
that will help you very clearly understand if you should talk to that person or you should just move along and let them move along and gracefully remove yourself from the situation. Because we can install all kinds of systems right now that can help you navigate physical reality with ease. Like to visualize something? Mm -hmm. Then we will connect to that, you know, like red light, just like yeah. when you have a red light, green light. Like a red, mm -hmm. red X, like yeah. no. Yeah, exactly. And so there will be a signal from the body. For example, we can test it right now. Mm. For example, I want you to visualize that your father is in front of you right now. And you know you're not supposed to talk to him, right? Mm. And when, when you visualize it right now, him and his energy in front of you, and that red X is showing up, where do you feel in the strongest? Right in front of me. Very good. Mm. So that's how it's going to happen. From now on, whenever you come across a person who you have no business talking to, you will just see that red cross and feel that energetic um, wall, basically, mm. that will stop you from interacting with that person so then you don't have to clean up the mess, right? Is that helpful? Very. Okay, very good. And in terms of your eczema, let's talk about that a little bit. Maybe there's some guidance from your higher self, inner being. What are the emotional, energetic causes? Can we give some guidance? I definitely can tell you about the supplements. But is there something that's coming from your internal guidance in terms of food or behavior or some patterns? And how can we clear it once and for all energetically? Mm. I see. Mm -hmm. um, okay. I am losing energy by not setting boundaries, not engaging in reciprocal things. Mm -hmm. and, and then I am trying to fix that imbalance with like, I don't know, sugar. Mm -hmm. I think that's what it is. Something sweet, yeah, because absolutely, when you want to cure from um, eczema, you got to remove any processed sugar. Is that correct? Yes. It just came to me like that. Yep, yep. It's absolutely correct. And it's absolutely true what you said. When you're bleeding energy and you're looking for a way to patch, you know, the holes. Yeah. It's just a substitute of a lack of sweetness that you feel because you abandoned yourself essentially in that moment, right? When you gave beyond what you're, you're supposed to have given. That and makes I, sense. Yeah. I want to then connect you with sweetness because we need sweetness. Sweetness is our natural, just playful energy of joy, right? Sweetness, people who have um, issues with sugar and diabetes and whatnot, they don't have enough sweetness in their life. How can we make sure that we experience more sweetness? How can you be more sweet to yourself, with yourself? Mm. What's coming up for you? more presence, more, more um, putting myself higher, prioritizing myself. There you go. So I can savor those moments that, instead of always being somewhere else. Being sweet to yourself, right? Being kind yeah, to yourself. That's Prioritize it. yourself. Yeah. So you don't really have to change much after this session in terms of healing your eczema. You just gotta prioritize what feels sweet and kind to you. Mm. Give me examples of what that kindness, sweetness towards yourself might be like. You know, going to a spa, getting a massage. Yeah, giving myself permission to do those things. Mm -hmm. Recognizing that that's important. Yeah. Very good. 
So just being aware, okay, I need a massage today, or mm. I need someone to do acupuncture, or and be like, okay, this is what I'm doing, no resistance, right? Yeah. I feel guilty doing anything for myself. Scan your body right now. Mm. And let's see if there is a physical address for the guilt. Is there any seed of that guilt somewhere within you that you can recognize right now? Yeah, it's still there. Mm -hmm. I think it's gone mostly. I think it's gone. It's just kind of like a soreness, right? Yeah. Because there was so much of it here that when you have like muscles that carry some, some weight, then obviously there is soreness. Mm. Mm hmm okay very good so what you really have to do is after this session get yourself a massage right mm. get a facial get whatever you want and bask in that joy and that sweetness so before we wrap up this part scan your body and tell me if there is anything in your energy force field that can go really like three to five feet beyond your physical uh, structure if there is any energy leaking or any any kind of holes through which energy is leaking right now in your field so we can seal it. Mm. Just check in and we can ask the, the white energy from the crystal also to take over and to grow, grow beyond your physical body. So there are all kinds of ways we can make sure that it's sealed, but I want you to scan it. Yeah. It's I can it's like up in here. Mm -hmm. How do you perceive it? It's like a dark uh, smudge or a shadow. Mm -hmm. It looks like a um, sm like smoke kind of. It's like just dark, like a. Mm -hmm. So, what would be a good way to remove that smoke? I think I just need to wash it mm -hmm. like almost like a Windex and like a wiper right? yeah it's Very like a, it's like a greasy smudge like mm -hmm. you know uh. let's do that do that when you use both of your hands spray some Windex organic and wipe that screen that glass until everything around you and behind you and above you and below you Looks even, looks pleasant, looks mm. sweet, looks joyful. You did it all. You fixed it. Much better. It was so much better. So just enjoy and you can just naturally come to your senses. I don't think I have to bring you forth. And every breath you take and every beat of your heart, just this energy of being alive and even keel and present and just confident, effortless, tapped in, turned on, connected to that crystal clarity within. As long as your heart continues to beat, as long as your lungs continue to absorb oxygen, it will just get stronger and stronger for you. And as you connect to your physical senses, you simply very naturally, organically, amplify that internal state and bring it forth because this is your real clothing this is your real essence this is what you emanate from now on so it will simply get better and stronger as the days go by mm -hmm.